What's up guys, Mr. Travis Pavlik. Something a little bit different, a little bit diverging from Bitcoin and cars and politics. And that is, dun, 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 dun. this is an MSI B450 Tomahawk motherboard. If you don't know what a motherboard is, it's just basically where everything in your computer plugs in. The processor goes here. Wow. Your video card goes here, your RAM system memory goes there, you put it, a power supply in here, you hook up your hard drives, and that's a computer. <laughs> Incredible, I know. But the reason why I have this is because I'm upgrading my computer, my desktop computer. I was looking into getting, you know, an Ultrabook, something with some performance. Uh, as well as portability. And I said, you know, oh man, you know, a thousand bucks, basically a uh, Matebook Pro X or Dell XPS 13 maybe. Um, but instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just upgrade the bare minimum. I'm gonna use the same power supply, the same graphics card that I have in my current setup. My current setup's quite old. It's like 2013 maybe I built it um, and I technically could sell my uh, Intel i7-2600, it's a couple, several, several generations ago. Again, it's a, what, six, six, seven year old computer. But this also relates somewhat to stocks because it's AMD, the, I've decided to go with AMD, like that's where the AMD processor plugs in here. This is a socket AM4. So it's backwards compatible. So this uh, this motherboard is for the previous generation of AMD, yet it's gonna work for the future generation of AMD. And the reason why I got this one in particular after doing a whole bunch of research, MSI allows you to update the BIOS, basic input output system. Um, it's like the core part software that's actually loaded on these with a USB. So right now I can plug this into power, I don't know what else it would need, and a USB stick um, is basically a, I could update the BIOS with the latest and greatest so that I can run my new setup, which hasn't even come out yet. There's no pre-orders yet. It's coming out 7-7. Happy July 4th, by the way, Independence Day, and uh, but it's just something I'm excited about. I think if you are interested in a computer, uh, you know, you have an older one or you've been thinking about building a computer, now is a great time. And you can be part of, it's really cheap. Uh, the cheapest, it's a, it's a Ryzen 5 2600 is the base level. And that's uh, allegedly 200 bucks. And that will almost compete with basically the top uh, retail chips of like an Intel, like a 9900K uh, for Intel i7 or i9, the top of those, it almost gets there for 200 bucks. So it's, you know, it's a half, it's almost a third of the price, but it's almost there, which is good enough for me. I could overclock it perhaps in the future. Uh, if you want to follow the story, AMD stock is very interesting. Keep in mind, the stock went from literally two dollars and something I remember trading it back then to thirty dollars. So it's not like the market hasn't anticipated a lot of this. It's not like it's you know completely brand new. But if you haven't been paying attention to the industry, a lot of guys, uh, you know, it's very easy to be a Intel fanboy because for so long their chips were better. Now the performance value of the seven nanometer technology is incredible. The pricing is incredible. The backwards com compatibility. Um, the only difference is PCIe 4.0. That's um, um, support for that. You're not going to have uh, in these older motherboards probably. But the fact that it's just backwards compatible, the fact that it's a great price. Um, I also am up upgrading to 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is plenty, more than enough. And I just saw a good deal. So that was $125 for the RAM, and that's 32, that's tons. 
The motherboard itself was 100. I picked it up at Best Buy. I haven't been there for so long. I was like a zombie in there. I was like, what? Where am I? Like, <laughs> it felt like I was on the moon. It was like Best Buy retailer. I've never, why would I, why would I ever go there? But they had a decent deal. It was, um, believe it or not, Amazon and, and they were back ordered. But if you want to do it, I spent a lot of time researching. We don't know everything, but if you have a graphics card already, you know, see if you can use that one. If graphics card power supply probably can reuse your RAM in a case, you know, that's just mainly cosmetics. Uh, if it fits the right amount of space, like mini ATX, ATX, but kind of a an introduction. The last generation, which I could go out and buy right now, the AMD uh, Ryzen 2600. The new one's 3600 on like kind of the low end, but that chip is 150 bucks, and it would be an upgrade for me as well. So if I was, I don't know, if for some reason something happened with the launch, that uh, you know I could go get that, I could return this stuff. But it should be really fun, and I'm excited to kind of see the difference. Also with the hard drives, I'm just going to reuse the hard drive that I have, so I'll have to reformat. And it is a little bit of a, a pain, but excited about this one. I'll just read you some of the stats. BIOS flashback, AMD Turbo USB 3.1, audio boost, so it's got onboard audio. Technically, I think it has onboard video, but no one really uses that. RGB Turbo N.2. Uh, easy debug LED so uh, but three PCIe slots four dims that's for the memory dual channel DDR4-3466 so I bought 3200 uh, USB ports two USB 3.1 four USB 3.1 gen 1 so the gen 2 is two of them uh, and then LAN is the Realtek gigabit LAN 8 channel audio with audio boost, HDMI, DVI-D, uh, so it comes with that, like their onboard audio, I'm actually curious how that works. And then also with uh, the graphics supply, so PCIe 3.0 X16 slot, and then it's also got a PCIe 2.0 X16 slot, which supports two-way two, two -way crossfire, which you could install two different uh, GPUs and link them together for some sort of uh, additional benefit. But the key thing is third Zen 2, I believe it's what it's called. I think it's third generation of Ryzen. I'm not 100% uh, sure, so there's an asterisk there. But this is big for computing. Uh, it's the first thing I've been excited about in a long time just because I'm a value guy. So that's great. You can like purchase a CPU for like a thousand bucks and spend five thousand dollars with whatever. That's some crazy build, but like this is very cheap and good performance. And this will hopefully last me quite a while because Moore's Law has stopped where it's like, you know, uh, it goes exponential. We, we double every however long it is um, with with CPU technology. So it's kind of slowing down the progress, right? I mean, like I guess the top chips are like five gigahertz. Uh, new technology coming out, but as you know, the technology, the processors get smaller and smaller. There's less gains, right? They're eking out less gains, which is interesting from a technological standpoint. I think I've said it all. That is it. If you're interested in uh, computers, I probably won't have, I'll probably do a little bit of a build just because I'll be excited to share it and uh, benchmark it and just like a real life benchmark. Like remember how my computer was and then see how it kind of is. The only thing that I do, if you don't do, I'm not a gamer, um, but if you don't do high intensity stuff, you might not need this. If you want to have 5,000, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, uh, Brave browser, uh, Windows open at one time, then you might just need uh, the RAM. But, um, you know, some people just like having the new stuff and 
uh, it's a little bit better, faster, I'm all for it. So that is it. Enjoy the fourth and gonna be coming out with, I'm gonna do a, a Bitcoin update as well because we went sky high, no pullbacks, then we pulled back and I'll just give you a hint. I had 90.50 as my buy order, 9,050 and then I think we hit 9,500. So a little annoyed there but um, I'm just kind of patiently waiting. Uh, the thing with Bitcoin is that you got to be flexible, you got to wait for it, but that's another video. This is the B450, kind of an unboxing. It just comes, uh, I'll at least show you what else it comes with. But the processor is going to come with uh, the special glue. This is the anti-static bag and you can see on the back what they have. as far as inputs, outputs. There's a nice, uh, beautiful, this is like an input, output, like cover thing. That's what that looks like. Some SATA cables and stickers and directions and such. Hey, it's, it's a Lamborghini. No, it's MSI. <laughs> it's a Lamborghini. That is it. Very uh, kind of small, techy way, fun, fun way, want fun video. So I'm out. Peace out. Happy Fourth. Bye.